Uh, as a matter of fact, I was talking to, you know, them last week, and they're finishing up a solo album. I mean, a solo, wait a minute. I'm the solo of the group. How can I mistake that? They're finishing up their next album, and they're getting ready to uh, go on the road. Who did they get as the new lead singer? Uh, I think they got Sting. <laughs> no, I, I don't know who they got. I mean, uh... Was David Foster upset that you didn't have him produce your solo album? Who? David Foster. David Foster? Oh, I think he co-wrote The Glory of Love, your number yeah, one. I, I do believe he helped me out with that. I, you know, he, uh, he wanted to do Chicago, and, uh, and I, you know, thought it was time to, move, you know, move on with somebody else. So. You know, it seems that this always happens. A band gets incredibly successful, like, for instance, Van Halen with the 1984 album. That was their biggest album, and then they had their split, and with the Chicago 17 album was so huge for you guys, and then you left. What, what, what happened there? You get a big head, and you want to go out on your own. <laughs> Simple as that. <laughs> no, I, you know, you just, there, there's a certain time in all groups when you just have to go, okay, now is the time to step out. And I kind of wanted to step out when, when we were on top, you know, rather than being the rat on a sinking ship who stepped out and we were on the bottom. So I, you know, it was kind of all planned that way. Well,